In this video, we'll talk about plugin management and plugin collections. Plugin management lets you decide which virtual instruments and effects are displayed anytime a plugin menu is open in Mixcraft. This is useful in a couple of situations. If you have a lot of one effect, say you've got a ton of EQs and you don't want to dig through all of them every time you bring up an effects menu, you can hide some of them so they don't always show. It's also useful if you'd like to temporarily disable a plugin or instrument that isn't working properly. To view the plugin management window, click File and Manage Plugins. At the top left is a category window which allows filtering of which plugins and instruments show over here in the main window. Probably the most useful categories here are effects and instruments which lets you show either effects only or instruments only. You can enable and disable which effects are displayed in Mixcraft's effects menus by simply clicking on the check mark next to any effect. Let's say I disable Acoustica Delay. If I hit OK and get out of this menu, now when I go to a Mixcraft effects menu, you can see Acoustica Delay no longer appears. It isn't removed from the hard drive, it just isn't showing up in the list. There's also a search field up here that lets you locate plugins by typing its name. You can type the first couple of letters, or you can just type a couple of letters contained in its name. For example, if I was looking for the Studio Devil Virtual Bass Amp, I could type the first few characters, S-T-U, and there it is. Now I'd like to talk about collections. Collections allow you to really easily and quickly make groups of effects or instruments so you can categorize things together like certain types of instruments or effects or your favorites or whatever you like. Here's how you make them. Over here where it says collections, just press the plus button and you'll get a new collection. And let's say I want to make a collection of compressors. I'll name this compressors and hit return. And now I'll go through and find compressors and drag and drop. So now I have three compressors in this collection, and if I click on it, you can see the compressors that are in there. And when I'm done, I can press OK. And when I go to an effects window, you can see my collection right here. If you've created a collection of virtual instruments, you can find that by clicking on the track's instrument icon, and you'll see the collections right here. Then you can just choose an instrument, and it's ready to play.